What's up, Mitten Squad? My name is Paul and welcome back to another Top 10 video. In this video, I'll be going over 10 more things you didn't know about Call of Duty. Number 10. The NPC Private Ambrose in the first Call of Duty game is likely a reference to Stephen E. Ambrose, author of Band of Brothers. The book is a collection of stories from members of Easy Company, part of the 2nd Battalion, 506th Parachute Infantry Regiment, 101st Airborne. The same unit is featured prominently in Call of Duty. Number 9. In Nuketown in the first Black Ops game, the purple house outside the map's boundaries is a replica of the house from the TV show The Brady Bunch. Number 8. At the Black Ops main menu when you're strapped to the interrogation chair, if you tap both triggers repeatedly, you will actually be able to get out of the chair and walk around the room. You'll even get the achievement, just ask me nicely, for doing so. In the room, there's also a computer terminal, which you can use to read letters, view concept art, listen to the game's soundtrack, unlock the Dead Ops arcade mode, and even play the 1980 text adventure game Zork. Number 7. World at War seems to have undergone a huge overhaul before it was released, because the presence of a sticky grenade and deleted British weapons, such as the Sten, Bren, and Lee Enfield, possibly indicate a British campaign was to be present. The mod tools also feature code for three missions at Rhineland and three missions in Holland. Number 6. Though Advanced Warfare was never released for the Wii U, the system's logo can be found bunched in with the rest of the system's logos in the files for the game on the game's official website. This hints that Sledgehammer Games or Activision originally planned to bring it to the Wii U, but they were never able to follow through with their plans. Number 5. Call of Duty Finest Hour has a hidden blackened room filled with candles and a ghost of a young boy in a baby's crib. The boy doesn't seem to acknowledge that the player is there and blankly stares into space the whole time. Number 4. The IEDs and ghosts have a picture of a dinosaur on them, along with words, playful secrets. This seems like it might be a reference to the competing Battlefield series, which frequently features dinosaur-themed easter eggs. Number 3. There is a planned Perca-Cola machine entitled Amblematic for the World at War Nazi Zombies map, Shinonuma and Deris. It would act similar to a max ammo power-up and replenish the player's ammo. Early textures can be found in the game's files. Black Ops also featured a similar cut perk called Ken Doyler, which would allow the player to carry extra ammo. Number 2. A day prior to Modern Warfare 3's European launch, two masked men in South Paris collided with a delivery truck and stole a shipment of the game. The delivery was estimated to include about 6,000 copies of the game, with a total value of over $400,000. This is considered to be one of the biggest video game heists in history. Number 1. On a shelf in Ghosts, there are two awards, one of which is shaped like a rupee from The Legend of Zelda, and another is shaped like TARDIS from Doctor Who. The Rupee Award reads, Awarded for Most Bushes Cut and Most Pots Smashed. And the TARDIS Award reads, Award for Largest Interior with Smallest Exterior. Additionally, an award can be found for World Not Ending in 2012, a reference to the Mayan calendar and the belief that the world was set to end in 2012. Alright, that's going to do it for this top 10 video about Call of Duty. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything, leave a like. Leave a dislike if you didn't enjoy the video or didn't learn anything. If you did, leave a dislike, leave a comment telling me why. Also, leave a comment if you have any suggestions for any future top 10 video about any game or game character. Follow me on Twitter at Mitten Squad. My name is Paul Love, Mitten Squad. Have a wonderful day.